There's no other guitar that sounds like a cigar box guitar. The box has this resonance that uh, just sounds like old time blues. And uh, there's a bit of hurting and wailing that comes with, with the tone when you start playing slide on it. With the right amplification, it has to be amplified. It sounds, it's got a really nice tone. So I uh, uh, hired him to, to build me one, a six string, and that's, that's what we're doing. We're going to go pick it up. And if I, a guy contacts me one afternoon and says, hey, uh, these are really interesting. Um, I'm a freelancer and I write for a couple of magazines. One of them is Playboy. Um, and I think I'd like to pitch, uh, I'd like to pitch a little sort of uh, article about what you're doing to, to some of the men. Sure, whatever. So, um, gets back to me two days later, it's okay, they went for it, you know, cigars, music, Playboy, kind of like, you know, I sort of packaged it in a way that, you know, it would be appealing to them. Um, so he's like, you've got to send three guitars to Chicago, we're going to photograph them and then we'll send them back to you. So of course, you know, I, I did it, but I never really, I told myself, you know, I won't really believe it until I see the actual spread or the thing. And lo and behold, a couple of months later, uh, um, he told me it's going to be the June issue and I went up and I bought my, my issue and I opened it and it was a little blurb, you know, with the, the instruments. Um, and, you know, they have three million readers every month. Um, so we got 1% of 1% of 1% of 1% of, of that, which equaled in about 80, 80 sales. Um, I mean, we built a website and we kind of got ready for, for the article, but it's really what put us on the map, because all of a sudden you had guys from all over North America, you know, saying, hey, I was at the barber shop and I was like looking through Playboy and I saw the little thing and I want one of them, you know, cigar box guitars, the Chihuahua. <laughs> So, you know, I kind of had to put everything aside for a couple of months. So I started building them full time. Uh, that was the summer of 2006. The sweet spot right there. Thank mm -hmm. you. 